you've got a headache. But it's the second one this week, and all of a sudden, I'm dying! You don't even realise that this is actually a stress headache because you were so worried about your first headache of the week. And this is a vicious circle. Hi everybody, I hope you've had a really fantastic week this week. This week's video is all about raising awareness for health anxiety. Not many people actually know that health anxiety is actually a thing. You might be thinking, everyone worries about their health at some stage of their life. And that is true, but health anxiety is very different. It is a constant, intense focus on the body and completely convincing yourself that you are seriously ill most days. So what are the symptoms for health anxiety? Chest pains and trouble breathing, sweating and trembling, shaking. You have increased body focus, so you're constantly aware of your body, which bits of it are hurting, and are constantly checking those different parts of your body. You seek reassurance from your friends, family, and especially doctors. You may also spend quite a lot of time researching illness on the internet. There's not that much awareness for health anxiety. It's one of those anxieties that isn't really spoken about and I think that's probably because many people who deal with health anxiety are very embarrassed about the situation. I've actually suffered with health anxiety for quite a long time, pretty much as long as I can remember. Just recently actually I pulled a muscle in my arm, in my right arm, and I was totally fine with it until the next morning and it was really really sore and I started to have shooting pains in it because I'd overexerted it. But in my head all I was thinking was I was having a heart attack and because I thought I was having a heart attack I then gave myself an anxiety attack. I think my fiance was with me and I was just telling him I was like call an ambulance, call an ambulance because I'm, I'm gonna die, I'm having a heart attack. It sounds so silly when you recount it like that but in that state, in that moment you really do feel like it's real, you really feel like you're in danger. When in fact it wasn't rational for me to think I was having a heart attack, the anxiety is still real. It is very, very important to point out that anxiety symptoms are the most commonly noticed by people that suffer with health anxiety. Those symptoms created by the anxiety are just as real as any physical symptoms of being ill. This week I went to Twitter and asked you guys if you have been affected by health anxiety. It seems that the main consensus from the community this week is avoid Google at all costs. It is just a bandwagon for your anxiety. In most cases, it doesn't seem to help. If you're currently struggling with health anxiety, here are a few little tips and pointers to maybe help you manage it a little bit better. Stress and anxiety can create real symptoms for your body. If you are feeling very anxious about becoming ill, the most likely reason for the symptoms that you're feeling is the anxiety itself. Just because you may have seen a news item or something on the TV regarding illness, that doesn't mean that you're any more likely to get it. Checking your body is a good thing to do, it is recommended by doctors, but they recommend that you do it monthly. Checking your body daily can become a very big stressor and trigger for health anxiety. Surprisingly, poking and prodding at yourself will only make you more sore. <laughs> I used to do this all the time if I felt something was a bit different. I remember we've all got these like, these little bumps like either side of our neck and when I found them on my body, I was convinced I was seriously ill and seriously poorly. And because I prodded at them, they ended up ballooning up. Physical activity is amazing mind occupation. I've recently been doing yoga. I'm trying to do the 30 days of yoga with Adrian challenge, which is really, really good. It just takes the focus off of anxiety. And finally, if you need to see this evidence down on paper, there is no better way to deal with this than making a chart. Have one side of the chart that tells you the evidence that you are seriously ill and have another side of the chart that will tell you the evidence that you're not seriously ill. That is a great way of balancing your mind. I really hope that you found this video helpful if you are struggling with health anxiety right now and if you aren't, I really hope it was at least a little bit educational. <laughs> it's one of those anxieties that we don't really talk about. It's seen as irrational thinking and because it's irrational thinking we, we just throw it out the window and we ignore it. Thank you so much to everyone who shared their comments and their stories and their opinions. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!